Hi everybody, um, we are today at West Morning Airfield um, and I'm standing behind the control tower which is here. Uh, part of it is a uh, costa and the other part I think looks like it's business but as you can see it's sort of being refurbed at the moment. Um, and what we're going to do today is we're going to go around for a little explore, show around a few like little interesting bits around here as well and um, hopefully give you uh, some influence as to come down here and check it out. So see you in a minute guys. This is the um, observation slash flak tower that I'm standing under at the moment. Um, the idea, as you can see, is it's split into two. So the, the reason for that is because um, the flak tower wouldn't interfere, or the gun emplacement wouldn't interfere with the radar or the radio that was on the other side. So you wouldn't get like an electrical crossover. Um, the idea is that they've tried to preserve this as much as possible. It's a shame because you're not allowed in it. but. Um, it's still pretty cool and it's really huge to be honest. I didn't realise how big it was actually. Uh, this is technically on the corner of the airfield. Um, we've parked up by the side of the road. <coughs> and uh, thank God it's winter time so we can actually see where we're going. It was pretty sweet. Cool.
I mean, that is a substantial pillbox when you think about it. Yeah. But anyway, whenever you're ready, Dan. Alright, go. Alright, so we're in the uh, Battle Headquarters currently. Um, Flightwoods, I think it is, or Fleetwoods. Fleet. Um, we're literally in the middle of a golf course. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's pretty exciting. Um, that's the top of it, what you can see. And then down there behind you is the uh, entrance, Jim. <laughs> Sorry. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go down there and have a look, and I'll describe to you all about it. On oh, quick other thing, Jeez. this was an escape hatch. So, if you look down there, Ladder included, and uh, this would have been the main part of operations for the airfield itself. Um, as you can see, really, you wouldn't really imagine it is now because it was heavily wooded and stuff. But at the time, it would have been in extensive use and probably used by a few of the squadrons that are around here at the time. So we're going to go in and let's do this. Oh wow, yeah, it's a step. I'm surprised that she ain't as sort of, you know, muddy and yeah, but you know, like. Oh wow! Look at that. Oh. So what do you think, Jim? It's all right. <laughs> Get the machine guns out. It's first date material, isn't it? It is, yeah. Do you want to come to a bunker, love? Yeah, show you my bunker. It's pretty cool they've still got the original leather, though. I mean, like, you know, the fact of like that hasn't gone anywhere and stuff compared to the places that, well, the place that we went to it was just like completely corroded, or weren't there. That is so cool. <laughs> just in case. I'm just amazed at how, like, there's not much rubbish in here or anything, really, do you know what I mean? Oh, wow. Alright, there you go. Let's do this. Basically, 
Yeah, right, so about, right about here, over to about, over to about here, there's a little room there, and then there's a the room just underneath, just underneath these trees. <laughs> that is so cool. It's surprising actually how sort of cosy it is in there in a weird way, do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's kind of, warm. yeah, you know what I mean? Like you don't, yeah, you know. We're on the, we've just found another shelter. Um, We've got on the entrance, which I'm going to show you in a minute, there's uh, the initial CR in 1940 in it, so we're assuming it's a World War II uh, shelter. Uh, and it's separated into two corridors, in one there. Uh, obviously you've got an escape hatch, that side. Um, and then behind you, there's another one. Uh, and as you can see, it's completely oval on the top. Um, we haven't checked out the top properly yet, but it's all completely grassed over. And the only way actually to get in here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, pass it here, so the only way to get in there is up through there. Which is just literally, there's no steps. It's all completely been trashed out. Uh, hang on, let me show you this graffiti. So, oh shit. The question is how we're going to go there, but look, there's some free CR 1940. Like and that looks like the remains of one of the handles or the stairway handles right there that would have come all the way down here. In fact, yeah, it carries on down here anyway. So you can see how high up we are with all the mud that's gone down there. And it's completely. Well, all of it's got a lot of rubble and everything in there. Heinz spaghetti bolognese with a squirrel on the. <laughs> it's got a squirrel on zoom the zoom can. <laughs> that is so cool. That's like old, old school Heinz. <laughs> Seriously. Hey Jim, do you want to take it for a run? I'm not running anywhere. <laughs> you know, he used to London. You know the only thing that's missing in here for a shelter is normally you'd have holes in here for like seating that would go right across here, which makes you sort of second guess of it if it is a shelter, but I can't see any, you know, unless they had benches, the only other way would be those where have portable benches, but the bunkers that I've seen before normally have like screw hits that come out. And then obviously it just would have been a flat surface right across. Yeah, lovely spider. Uh, Colour spider's all good. <laughs> Boost Distillery London. <laughs> Sorry. Might not even be there, Jim, that Boost Distillery. Weird. That is a thing of gas. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. Now if you're watching this and you're thinking potentially that this wasn't a shower, please tell me, but I'm pretty sure from what I know of this area that it looks more like a shelter than an actual bunker. Although technically it is a bunker because we're underground, but um, that is absolutely incredible. In fact, most of it's still really preserved, just apart from the layers of whatever it is underneath there. Do you want to get to the other side, mate? And then, uh, you can do the other side. Do you want to tell that? Oh, fuck now. Yeah. This side's a bit more rubbled. Found a pot of gold yet? Not yet. <laughs> Can you get to it with Um, probably not. Just there's too much to prove. Would you want me to take the, hang on, if I take the camera, do you want to try and see if you can... Get there. Now... Oh, Sorry for all the swearing and everything, by the way, but... Don't forget. Cock it. <laughs> so, right, we go up there, and it goes outside. <laughs> take you on a journey. <laughs> Ow. He's got up. <laughs> I can't do it. It's a bramble. What, is it all overgrown? A little bit. I'll stick the camera up top. Oh. Shit. 
<laughs> it wasn't my leg. That's all right, then. <laughs> Where are you dragging your back? Always go 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 love. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, you can't really see anything. <sighs> Do you remember? Do you ever remember the uh, film Stig of the Dump? Yeah. Yeah. A bit like that, isn't it? <laughs> Shipmans. So there you go. Top. That's what we just climbed down. Um, as you can see, it's quite well. It's, it's quite steep underneath, and obviously it's risen all the way up here. Yeah, and the other ones around the uh, side. You can see where it was. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit of information about why where, where we're here. Um, the main reason is because nobody's actually done a video of what we're doing. Um, here at RF West Malling, but technically it's Kings Hill, but you could have called it uh, R Maystone Airport. And uh, the motto the, uh, the airfield had was called We Guard the Gate. In Latin, I can't remember what it was called, but uh, it was all Latin. Um, we're walking up the main part of uh, Kings Hill now on Tower View, which is basically the main road that pretty much interjects uh, Kings Hill. I'm sorry if I'm on the shout because obviously, like I said, it's the main road. Um, and it's interspersed with this is basically if you were driving normally now on the current Kings Hill, the uh, new by road that got taken up, this is where you go. <laughs> Hopefully, you can hear me over this. Um, and obviously, as we're walking up now, going through to Tower View. We're going right the way through, so technically we're coming right the way through Kings Hill, right through, halfway, straight across. And uh, what we're going to do is in between this, like I said, you're going to see a few more bunkers, a few more interesting bits in between what we're doing. But I thought I'd give you a bit more information about why we're trying to do this. And uh, like I said, hopefully you can explore, check it all out, have fun whilst you're doing it. So we'll see you in a minute. Oh, probably I wasn't recording yet, that's why. Alright, oh, should we try again? <laughs> okay, so we're in a, a newly discovered uh, air raid shelter pretty much. It must be an air raid shelter, the size of it. Um, behind me then is uh, Kimberly Clark, above and behind in uh, Kings Hill. And uh, all around here, I mean, like, there's still some original files there, so you've got still all the things that probably, I'm assuming, where you would have hung your coats or whatever and stuff like that i'm assuming so it looks pretty feasible where maybe cables probably would have gone across to run it so either either either. yeah either storage, either. storage stuff and a few days um and then around there is where the original stairwell would have probably looked like it would have came down um okay there are some spiders literally above your head Shh, don't tell me <laughs> <laughs> i don't see them they're not there <laughs> and then around here um is where the escape hatch is which we came down. Oh, it's raining. So, interesting story briefly about this place was that a woman was walking her dog recently, and uh, the dog almost fell into the hole. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this is where it came found. So, we're lucky enough to be probably the first people to film this place, so we're really privileged. Hopefully, we won't get in trouble for it. Hope not. Um, and yeah, so like I said, another shelter in Kings Hill. So I think we've pretty much almost done all of the bunkers and shelters, apart from one more that we may see if we can find, I'm not sure yet, which would have been the main command bunker. Um, so fingers crossed we may find that one, I'm not sure yet. Um, and yeah, so this is amazing, because like I said, we're so privileged to be a part of this one. So um, yeah, like I said, really small. Um, but like I said, still pretty fresh, to be honest. So uh, yeah, catch you later. So basically what's happening now is that they're just quickly just trying to find where, must be assuming where the stairwell would have been or where the entrance part would have been in this bunker that we just 
found obviously like I said looking down at it that's where the hole was and that's apparently where the woman had uh, a dog almost fell into um, and like I said it's fairly new so uh, pretty exciting I mean most pretty much all these bunkers are pretty much built purpose built for the airfield um, Shell would have looked after the squadrons and uh, most of them probably would have been 1940s built or later on during the uh, Cold War 1950s when the Americans took over um, I mean, actually, most of the ground that we've sort of trodden on is quite sort of spongy, so you wouldn't actually know to know that you were here unless you actually saw like huge holes in the ground like that. Um, but yeah, what we'll do is we'll talk more about this in a minute, and uh, yeah, there you go, some fun. All right, so we're at Churchill Square. Um, all around here is where the uh, barracks were, and obviously they're designed in a H shape. Uh, the idea is that obviously it was partly due to do with uh, if there was a bomb raid and stuff. Uh, less damage really on the whole site. Um, it's literally a whole row of them that go all the way around. Um, you do. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the uh, layout for it as well. And uh, it'll only be really short, but it's just something that's really cool to look at. So, yeah, cool. We're all back now, we're all home and safe and not wet because the weather did start to really chuck it down and uh, we were in Teeston Lane um, which is pretty much abandoned now, most of the majority of the road but we were looking for some old abandoned um, huts that were around there but to be honest they're all demolished now anyway and it is winter time that we're in and pretty much the leaves have covered the majority of it so you just got to take our word for it. But what we did find in the corner, in a part of the forest that was around there, we found these amazing old bottles that are above them. And, uh, well, Jimmy found them, to be honest. Hi, Jim. Hi. Uh, and uh, we dated them. And they came to what date was it? It's early 50s for the Coke and Pepsi. Uh, the other ones aren't done yet, but they look relatively the same sort of era. So basically, it sort of tied in with the... Uh, with the surrounding area of, of the uh, airfield itself which is pretty cool actually to be honest I mean like I said you know to actually find a, a find like that it's pretty sweet um there were the four that we found um and there was that pretty much that Pepsi Cola one in the middle which is pretty sweet so all in all a really good day um all I was going to say was, if anybody sort of says, oh, you should check out such and such and such and such, well, we did, the majority of the stuff we did actually find. Um, sorry, it may come across as maybe slightly semi-short video, um, but the point was, the idea really for this purpose of this video, and much like the other videos that I do, the historical, is really for you just to go out and explore and to check these types of things out. Um, so, I mean, like, fingers crossed you do, uh, and just be aware that obviously Kings Hill is pretty much a glorified kind of business slash kind of village I guess you could call it so just be suburban hell hole <laughs> suburban hell I didn't say that by the way um, so please go and check it all out um, I think Kings Hill is lovely uh, the people there are very accommodating um, but yeah so like I said if anybody writes to sort of say that there was a few things that we didn't put in I apologise because we were going to but there was so much that was there that was actually there's more that we didn't find. There's more that we didn't find, yeah, which is agreeable. Um, yeah, because some of it we just generally didn't find. Some of it we we didn't do. There was, there was one thing that we didn't film, which was the uh, the quarters for the uh, husbands and wives on the base. Um, all that is that look, really look like council houses, to be honest, which are on the main road uh, that as you head towards Water and Bray. We, we didn't really want to film them just because I respect the people that are probably living there more than anything else. Um, and also the fact of really, so they're just houses, they're just like normal council houses. Um, so you just got to take our word on it. So hopefully this video has given you encouragement to just go explore the things. It's a shame really that West Morning itself and that whole area, I'm going to sit down, uh, that whole area isn't, you know, as obvious as much anymore because it's still being built on. I mean that was the main problem that we had, wasn't it, really, that majority of the stuff that we were going to look for even a couple of years, even two years ago, which was there, isn't there anymore. Or we can't find it. I mean, it's not as obvious. Um, hence why this video is more important, because we're trying to tell people, look, some of this stuff may be gone in the next year. It may not be, but the majority of it, even for our sort of generation and stuff, will probably be gone. So please, please, like I said, go check it out. Uh, hopefully this is giving you encouragement to go and have a look around some bunkers. 
It's been a really exhausting day. We've been been walking around for hours, uh, trying to find <laughs> these places. Good old GPS. And uh, yeah, so see you later, guys, and uh, have a good one. See ya.